for the first time since the 15th summit of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation OIC held earlier this year, His Excellency Adam Abaro, President of the Republic of the Gambia, conducted an on-site inspection of the OIC routes currently under construction across various communities. The Gambian leader visited several key routes, including the Bundun Serekunda Road, Wulinkama Brufut Road, Tranquil Brufut Road, and the Brufut Gamtel to Sirifkunda Road. Following the tour, President Baro shared his thoughts with journalists on the progress of the roadworks. Yes, the impression is, is good. We are in high spirit. It is our normal routine inspection. But normally, I come out distinctly to come and see these roads because these roads are very, very, very close to my heart. And I've always been saying it, I will say it again, no infrastructure, no development. And also, coming close to the grassroots is very important. You listen to them. I spoke to many of them. I read their body language. They are very, very happy, but they have other challenges. And always when they put our ch their challenges across, we engage the contract to see how best we can, we can address that, you know, as soon as possible. But so far, I think we, we are happy. Our target is October. And maybe our next three months will be in October. That will be immediately after my holidays. When I come back, then I will be on the road again to, to, to see the road, to make sure that we see the finishing. Because we have to do 100% finishing by October. That is the drainage, the roads, the street lights, the furniture. These are not ordinary roads. First time, Gambia is enjoying this type of roads. So it's very, very, very important to us. President Barrow assures citizens that his government is dedicated to making a positive impact on their lives. We also uh, assure the Gambian people that with Barrow government, the sky is the limit. We want to do everything possible to impact on the life of the people. These are social projects. Social projects make big impact on the life of the people. I think you have seen the way the people, are, people receive us in Brufut, in Bundung, and other places. It's because they are happy with what we are doing. Because they are happy and they are coming out to show their, you know, their, 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 their happiness and their support. We will continue to do more. That means they are challenging us to do more. They are asking for more and we will do more. It is not about resources only. It's about innovative financing. That's what we are doing. During the inspection tour, Residents of Latrikunda, Sabij and Sukota expressed concerns about the quality of their new road, which has been under construction for the past two years. As the president's convoy passed by, locals voiced their dissatisfaction, claiming the road was not properly constructed. In response, President Barrow assured them that the road would be properly completed by 2025. You see, the Latrikunda, uh, Sukota road is very difficult to satisfy human beings. That road was not more terrible. Years passed. I contacted Gumworks to say do something for these people so that they will have access until when we start to implement the, o the OIC roads. The roads have not started yet. It has not started. We will do the roads, we will do the drainage, we will do the street light, we will do the furniture. So the roads have not started yet. I just want to assure them. This was just to help them so that they can access their areas. That's all what we have done. This, the proper road have not started yet. But I assure them that it is part of the OIC. By 2025, I will come back there and they will see what will be the outcome of that road. Regarding the increase in accidents on the OIC roads, President Barrow indicated that his government has plans to enhance road safety and protect citizens once the roads are finished. I think we, we, I don't know whether you are observant, but me, I'm always very sensitive to what happened around my, around my area. When I got to the Sukuta, the Sukuta Jabang, there was a vehicle path, highway patrol. This is the way we are going to protect the road. The road is not ready yet. There are a lot of things that we will be doing. We will be doing, uh, how to call it, uh, sleeping police, sleeping police yes. on the road. You see the finishing? The finishing is coming. And we will have special trained police with vehicles, with motorbikes, you understand? And they will be patrolling the highway 24-7, and it will have security cameras also. So we are not ready yet. Uh, let us allow, allow us a little bit of time. Uh, very soon we, we will finish and we will implement all what it takes you know, to make sure that uh, that road is protected and the people are also protected.
The president informed journalists that the government's target for completing some of the roads is October 2024, while others are expected to be finished by September 2024. President Barrow laid the foundation stones for several of these projects in October 2021, underscoring their significance for the country's development. The ongoing road projects inspected by President Barrow include several key routes contracted to various firms and consultants aiming to improve connectivity and infrastructure throughout the country. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Landin Cesar.